<sighs> okay, I forgot to vlog. It's significantly colder, like 28 degrees this morning. So I actually had to warm my cars up um, and scrape the windows, start it so the battery's good, all that jazz. I forgot to film it because I was just doing it so I could get here in time. I'm still on time for work. Proper clothes, bundled up. Yesterday I was not bundled up, didn't have on proper clothes, and I was cold. I'm still cold, but I'm okay with that. Um, oh yeah, these are pretty cool. They help for drivers on this road at least to be aware when there's people walking by. <sighs> Anyways, today's day is gonna be really light. Um, I only have work for the first couple hours of the day. I have lecture, we have an exam today, crap. I don't have anything I need for that. So I'll steal a pencil from work and take this exam. And then after that, I check out this apartment and um, get my car checked out. Yep. And then I'm good. Chat with you guys later. Okay, I'm remembering to vlog this time. I'm a little bit frustrated because I couldn't print out my flyer that I worked so hard on for work and had to let it go. Give it to my supervisors. I was like, I tried this, da 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 send them an email, we're good. Otherwise, I'm on my way to my exam for uh, OCHEM, kind of a throwaway exam because I don't know what's going on in class as far as what we're talking about and I just wanna see what I get because either way, the lowest grade's getting dropped and the better grades that I have in there are like 80s, so I should be good. Um, after that, we're supposed to look at an apartment, I guess, but I'm thinking of canceling on him and going straight home so I can get to the dealership and we'll see what else we do today. Oh yeah, and I realized my edits weren't finished on the video releasing for the second, so I had to fix that and I'm uploading that while I'm in class. I did not forget to vlog this time. Anyways, dealership doesn't have any availability, so I'm here to visit Brian again, get some food, and then I'm gonna go somewhere and work on this video or find something to do. That's the door. Okay, um, and then we will work on it and do something else. What are you doing? Plucking springs out of these losses so I can melt it down and make another gold bar like this. Oh. But we use it for the boric acid in it because it's 99% boric acid and it's cheaper than just getting 100% boric acid. Mm -hmm. It um, when it melts, it makes like this black glassy soot stuff. It uh sticks to the dirt and hair and all the other bullshit that's still in the gold and the leaks and stuff. And it sits on the surface. So then you can scoop it off and then you got clean metal underneath. I'll put it in there because it's very dirty scrap gold. How do you know what to do for the flame? Use some experience. Propane is just a regular old yellow flame. Oxygen makes it burn hotter. Looks like a cast iron mini skillet. It's good a little while, especially because I've got a lot of gold here. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, but it's mostly like doming and going up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going matte before it melts. It gets shiny again when it starts to melt. It looks like lava. Feels weird and chunky. <laughs> Still got solid bits in it. I was about to ask. It looks pretty much like soup. Just might be soup. It's not hot enough yet. Also, look. The pick is too hot. It's making the wood smoke. Oh, I see it now. What's that? Uh, those are just um, heat absorbent. Um, I wish I could explain them a little better. I was actually explaining the smell that I was smelling earlier. I was trying to describe it. It was the smell of the wood. Three hot spots, little spinny shape with little springs. So, all the trash is left inside of it, or is that still sort of gold? So this is ideally all flat, so there's nothing like melting and cutting at the bottom. Right. It's all gloopy. That's all the dirt and stuff stuck in the boric acid. Oh, there's a little bit of gold left. That was fast. This thing is also smoking hot. Get it? Is that what that's for? It's not what it's for, but it is what it's for now. This is a pickling solution. It dissolves the boric acid a little easier. It's easier to get it off that way as opposed to putting it in the orthosonic and then filing and scraping it off because it melts and gets glassy. This just dissolves it. So you let it sit in there a little bit. All that weird looking gunk and stuff on it will then come off easier in the orthosonic. <laughs> How's your finger? It's a little warm. It's still hot. Yeah, it's boiling water. Come on, let me get it. So cool. It really doesn't fit. Oh, isn't it hot? You just touched it with your bare hands. Yeah, it's not hot anymore.
And you don't want to let that one sit in the sonic water? Uh, I mean, it can. Uh, silver tarnishes way faster than gold does. Probably leave the gold one in there for a few days. And the silver tarnishes as much as the silver would in like an hour. Mm -hmm. Very warm indeed. Ooh. What are those things that get sent me from? Uh, it's like rubber finger guards. It keeps the polishing compound and soot and stuff from oh. doing that and getting stuck to my fingers and shit. That's a good thing. And it's also, are those um, new? Yeah, they're pretty new. So you gotta have a bunch that are unused. These pretty much fit everyone. And, um, it also helps keep the heat from this burning with your hands. It makes a lot of friction. I'm gonna leave a little wart there, I guess, or cut it off. You just saw it off, right? Uh, I could. To save it, I could also file it. I'll probably go in and file this by hand to level out this little wrinkly bit. I don't know, what do you think? I think you should follow the right part, but I think you should keep the wart or saw it on. You know? I've been using this for pretty much everything. Like, oh, I need some stock. Let me roll the big ass chunk out real quick. Yeah. Oh, I could roll this through the mill, level this out more. I thought he was trying to sell it. No. Oh. I was just calculating the scrap value, the, the potential, like, if need be. Sure, we can go take this big ass chunk and sell it. That's why you keep it moving like that. I'm doing that because it's heavy. Here, do it. Do it. Oh, oh it does nothing. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. I thought it might nick it or something and then you gotta polish it out. So. Probably. <laughs> well, gold is soft, but when it's humongous, it's pretty, it's still metal. So, that's all the brushing I think I'll have to do. Wait, you gotta hold it further than this. No, I have my camera with me, right? Uh-huh, but I gotta... I can just air drop this from the laptop. Ooh, that's pretty. So wait, what's the difference between that roll and this roll? This one polishes it, so what does that one do? This is aluminum oxide. It's abrasive, very abrasive. And it grinds it off really fast. This is the fine one. These are the, I believe this is the coarse. There's another one that's medium. Um, this actually might be extra fine. To make it super smooth, or what does that mean? Fine, AF. <laughs> um, the finer ones put finer scratches in it, or that brush texture, which is what I use for getting scratches out of people's watches without. Thanks for the guard, huh? severely um see if, I, if it was just my bare finger that wouldn't have happened it rolled this up oh but it did. this is also the part that makes all the the friction this is a very big piece of metal so i'll probably have to stop in a sec to let it cool off Pick up the box and he's like, whoa, what is this? <laughs> I think it's good. Cinematic makes my hair look fuzzy. How do you look? Ooh. This is cool. Did you see that? You grabbed both of us for a second there. Yeah. I feel like I have to be mindful of what I do on camera now. Why? Because I'm wearing this. Oh. Now you do, yes. Yeah. Yes. 
Hi. Hello. So much footage. Not really. Yes, actually, counting the gold. So uh, we have a movies in the mall. Pretty dope. Futuristic looking elevators. Oh, that's cool. Each one's on a different floor. I almost fell just now. Transport. Mission accomplished. Looks good. Tastes good. Me. I'm not the action. That was fast. Oh no. I'm gonna stay a little bit. We're walking to 7 Eleven. How was work today, darling? Work was good. No, um, no oddball customers. Um, so yeah, I mean, generally a pretty good day Yay. all around. <laughs> You're very beautiful, you know. Thank you. Like how you look at me when I say that stuff too, like free drink. Mm -hmm. No cameras! No! <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to like stay upright but speed up. <laughs> Private property. Trolley is coming. Dolan, you want to rent the trolley? Um, sure. Wait, really? I'm technically, supposed to pay to get up there, but I haven't done that. Really? I did, I did it once. <laughs> once. Just because I wanted to at least know the process in case I got stopped. Uh -huh. I was like, yeah, the so-and-so was messing up. And I can't call it the so-and-so. I got to name drop what the damn terminal is. Uh -huh. uh, as it turns out, those terminals don't give you back dollar bills for change. They give you back dollar coins. Lit. So that's how I got those few dollar coins I got, I think. Nice. Yeah. Okay. And um, Dang, this angle's weird. Yeah, otherwise, I've never bought a ticket for that thing. Just hopped on it. And luckily, I haven't been checked for it yet. Cool. I think if they ask you for your ticket and you don't have it, it just makes you get off at the next stop. Want to do that? Going to ride this and get off at the next stop. If they make us. Well, they won't make us because we won't get caught. Okay, here's Domoishi. Nope, Sushi King. Wrong one. Oh, this is 7 Eleven. Domoishi's right here. I gotta tell you a story about that. Let me know if you wanna know it. What do you mean? Let me know if I wanna know it. It was a bad date. Like a horrible date. No, I don't want to Horrible. Bad dates. <laughs> There's only good dates. Yes. Oh yeah, you're right. Where would we go? It's gonna take us by the courthouse. How about we're doing it? This is great. This is this Where is. Do I don't know. Do you want to sit? Yeah, Please stay clear. Closing the door. Okay. We're doing it. You want some? I don't know how to feel. I feel like a bandit. Like a bandit? I feel like a suburban bandit. Really? <laughs> the next stop will be MacArthur Square. You will be exiting right. Where is that at? MacArthur Square. We're closer than we were thinking? Yeah. It's the other side of the mall. Perfect. Bandits. Oh. We have more bandits. At one point, for two years, I paid for the 365 class for this. <laughs> you know what I was doing when I was getting up here? What? Just 
getting into uh didn't want to pay for parking, right? Mm -hmm. When I came out here to take photos, so I would park at the uh, station near my place because I had a parking lot nearby. Mm -hmm. And I would ride my penny board to the light rail. Penny board? Is this a stop or is this a light? Uh, Any board is that? Yeah, it's like a long board, but tiny. It's a cruiser board, but it's literally well, about the same size as my foot, the one yeah. I had. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'll just ride that out here, take photos, ride back out, and get my car. That's nice. Then I realized I didn't have to take my car and park. I could just ride the penny board straight to the station. Mm -hmm. It took a little more time, but it was fun. It was also slim, nice and slim. Because you were a lot more active. Well, my cardio was all right, though. That was quick. That was like another two minutes after I took the camera off. Yeah. What? We have a ride. Oh, yeah. That was weird. Yeah, that's cool. All right, so here's where we are. This thing's manually. That was all him? Oh, gosh. Too hot. Mm -hmm. Tall people props. <laughs> <laughs> 